Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. Last video for the week, we're going to be doing issue 20, stages 73 and 74 of Hero Collectors, build the Ecto-1. <laughs> Remember, if you want to protect your Ecto-1, dust covers are now available through Partwork Upgrades. Check them out at www.partworkupgrades.com. Now, by the look of it, this looks like it's going to be a very quick episode, but we have got some monstrously big pieces in this. Uh, I think I'll show you the instructions first and show you what we're actually working with today. So as you can see, we're going to be taking the piece that we had left over from stage 72, looking just like that. We're going to be applying that to this piece which is absolutely ginormous, probably best on the side camera there, but look at that, it's one whole solid piece of metal. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I will put this on a towel when we come to work on it, but there you go, look, it looks just like that. We do have some screws, which are EM screws uh, in this one, and we do have another screwdriver. I think Eagle Moss must have thought the screwdrivers must be getting worn down at the moment, so they have provided another one here as well. It uh, looks quite good actually, the end of that one. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, put this back over here, and as you can see, once that plate's in, we're actually gonna be fitting this to the top of the vehicle. So we're gonna have the whole vehicle lying down here. And then in stage 74, we're just gonna be doing the front left fender plating and wire covers. Uh, it's just this little bit here that we're gonna be putting over and a couple of clips, that's it. We are gonna have a wing left over, which we're not gonna be doing anything in this stage. And then once again, when we get issue 21 through, we will have all of these parts here. Again, I'm not quite sure what they are. There's another wing and another rim. Uh, looks like we've got some more uh, I don't know what that is. That looks like a rear window though, as I said before. But if you want to get this for yourself, I've put the links down here. If you're in the UK, follow the UK link. And if you're in the US, follow the US link. and You'll be able to get this all from pack one. And I said the links just provide here a collector a way of knowing that you've come from the World of Wayne YouTube channel. So for the final time of this pack, let's get cracking. So I'm going to be putting down my towel here. And I'm taking this great big section as I said, looks just like that. I'm gonna put that right there because we're gonna be putting this plate in. Now, this is the rear of the vehicle and this side is the front of the vehicle. Now, the plate we had in the last stage has got an arrow here. That arrow needs to point towards the front of the vehicle. So when we put this in, that's gonna go in just like that. It's gonna be held in with six EM screws. Now, that is a lot of screws. So what I'm doing is dipping these in some oil because we are going into metal and we'll get this in. That's one. I am enjoying this build, but I'll tell you what, some of these pieces are absolutely ginormous and I really do start to feel sorry for my courier person, whether it be Royal Mail or DHL or whoever our package company is that's delivering it, because they have to uh, deliver these <laughs> to the door. And sometimes the look on their face is a picture when it's like, this was heavy. <laughs> but obviously this is solid metal now, so it is gonna add some considerable weight to the vehicle. Now, I haven't got my scales in here at the moment, so I can't weigh this. But uh, when issue 21 comes, the first thing I'll do is I'll put it on the scales and we'll see how much it weighs. Because I know a lot of you are probably gonna wanna put this on a shelf if you're not putting it on the plinth it comes with. You want to know what weight it's going to actually have. But once they're all in, it should look just like that. And it looks just like that from that side. So I'm just going to turn this around because what I'm going to do now is bring over the vehicle and I'm going to be dropping this on top so that this section here is going towards the front. Just lining everything up. And then we've got the section lining up at the back there. And as you can see, hopefully on one of the cameras, uh, we've got to put lots of screws in this. So I get on this and uh, I'll chat while I do it. The first screw is going to go at the back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it round in different ways. So I'm going to put one in the back and make sure that's nice and tight. The second screw here, I'm going to put right at the front, which goes at this one. You'll probably see at the far end, just in here. And then I'll do the same on the opposite corners. So that's number two. Then I'll jump to the other corner over here. 
and that's number three we'll go to this corner over here for number four number five is here on this side and then I'll meet that I'll put number six just in the other side over here number seven I'll put over this side Number eight can be this one over here. I'd like to think I'm doing this in some sort of uh, <laughs> order. <laughs> Number nine, just behind it here. Number 10 on the other side there. Let's turn this over. So there you go, when that's on, as you can see here, it looks just like that. And really impressive and really big. And don't even get me started on the weight of it. <laughs> So in the last part we have this wing looking like that, although we're not going to be using that. Now the wing is obviously going to be going on this side, over here. And what I'll do is, at the video, end of the video, I'll put this on just to give you an idea of where this is actually going to fit. But while I've got the vehicle here, I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm just going to do the instructions slightly out of order, because uh, I do need this part of the vehicle. I'm just going to open the bonnet a second so it can rest on that plate because I'm going to be putting some clips in. Now I've moved my camera around just to show you where these clips go. They're basically going to be going into the two holes we've got here. One here and one here. They're going to sit on just like that. They're going to be held in with EM screws. Now the easiest way to do this is to put the screw in first but not all the way. Just a little bit there. Now they're going into metal, so I am going to put some oil on this. Just like that, and then you can offer this part in, because you see it's got an open end on that, just like that there, and then tighten it up. And when they're in, we've got the two clips in here and here, we don't need this massive frame now, so I can take this off the bench. What we do need is this little bit of trim here, some BM screws, and the wing, looking just like this. And all we're gonna be doing is taking this trim, just putting it over the three lugs that we've got here, here, and here, and securing that down with some BM screws. So I've got them here, here's the first one. Two more, I have dropped these in, little bit of oil here's the second one and finally that's the third one so it looks like that from that side and that from that side what I'm going to do now is bring over the whole car we'll put this together ready to go back on the shelf so I can show you what this looks like at the moment now, as you can see, I haven't really attempted any wire tidy, but I just wanted to see how these parts are gonna kinda look. Obviously, there's gonna be no gaps and stuff when this is done, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how it looks. See, that back section's not on properly either at the moment. <laughs> but that's the front end of the vehicle, which I think does look pretty amazing. Uh, the gap here between the wing and the bonnet, obviously that gets closed up when the wing's attached. But that is all there is to do in that stage. 
So there you go, what an enjoyable pack that was, and it is certainly coming together, but boy, it's heavy now. I haven't put it on the shelf yet, over here, <laughs> so as soon as that happens, get to see if the shelf hold it. It should do, I think they hold 65 kilograms, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. But, if you enjoyed that video, please remember to give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to click that subscribe button. Don't be afraid to click the subscribe button, there's no sort of like commitment or anything. All it does when you press that button is just notify you when a new video is up, that's all it does. So you've not got any financial commitments or anything there. Click the subscribe button and I'll be sure to uh, get one of these out when issue 21 comes. But anyway, thank you for supporting the channel, take care.